My name is Tina Fierro and I am from Cedro Woolly, Washington. It's meant to be. I think because glass can take on so many uh, forms, it's kind of like a chameleon. I've uh, been obsessed with the form of swans as an icon for love. Living in the Northwest has really opened up a whole new avenue of creativity for me. Being very uh, interested in the sky and nature and the landscape out here has become prominent in my work and vocabulary. Um, this is a unique experience working with a team of glass blowers because I'm not a good glass blower at all. Um, so it's just so amazing to work with a team that has the skills to um, make visual what's in my head. I became interested in glass while I was uh, learning bronze casting in college and I realized that with glass color could come through the material rather than be added to the surface. So I got very interested in that aspect. So um, I feel like with what I'm working on here at the MOG, it's sort of a city of skies. Um, I'm thinking about a title, something like Liminal Spaces, this idea that we sort of um, are a little bit separate from reality at all times and that there's this sort of plane between us and that's where the glass as a material comes in really nicely as a metaphor for sort of space and place and sight. In the hot shop we're blowing primarily um, cylinder forms of variety of scales from as small as six inches tall by four inches diameter to as large as 28 inches tall and about uh, 13 inches diameter. That was a good one. <laughs> the horn project is coming out of other horns that I made in ceramics uh, probably about seven to eight years ago and um, the horns are very much the icon of the swan. They were long necked um, and funnel openings with, um, without sound but sort of the implicit form of a horn indicates sounds. So I would use those and uh, the horn that we made at the MOG that we're making comes out of a mathematical equation of inputs and outputs um, and I found it in a book when I was reading um, about um, algorithms and it was just so odd to find a mathematical image that was so similar to the images that I was making in three-dimensional form. I think it's just amazing to be able to be here at the Museum of Glass. Um, these kind of opportunities for artists are just phenomenal especially when artists like myself work so much in education and with people uh, sort of uh, on a daily basis to be able to um, take a t period of time and just focus on the ideas in my head uh, without the day-to-day -day distractions is just um, so beneficial for me and just to be uh, with a group of people who are so talented is really amazing. Yeah.